Hi guys, welcome back. I am doing another canning project today. This is actually a new recipe to me. I got the inspiration from Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead. She did it, I don't know, like a month ago. Um, she has a YouTube video about it also, but I saw it on her Instagram. Um, anyway, it is a recipe for apple barbecue sauce and it's made primarily with tomatoes and apples. And ever since she did it, I've wanted to do it, but I didn't have um, apples yet. But this last week, um, I got two bushels of seconds from a local orchard. A good friend picked them up for me. And <clears throat> so anyway, I need to be working through them in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be making some applesauce and stuff. Uh, honestly, I don't want to get into doing them too heavily yet, one, because this week is going to be very busy. Um, and also... I'm going to be hand peeling them today, what I'm going to use, but I really prefer to use um, an apple peeler, and the one I usually use <clears throat> belongs to my mom, and it's at her house right now, so the next time I go to her house, I'm going to steal that back so I can use it, but I don't need to do a ton for this recipe, but... Now that I finally have apples, we are still getting tomatoes out of the garden. I'm actually going to use these frozen tomatoes today. Um, I actually have a quite a few that I picked out of the garden yesterday that are fresh, but I don't really want to blanch them right now, so I'm just going to use some of these frozen ones, and then those other ones I either will freeze for another project or I will use them for a different fresh project maybe tomorrow, but we'll see. For right now, I just need to get this going so it can start cooking down. So the first thing I need to do is run these under some warm water, peel them, um, just chunk them up a little bit and get them in the pot on the stove. And after that, I will peel and chop some apples up, put them in, and I also need one onion um, peeled and quartered to put in it so that it can all start cooking down together is the first step. The tomatoes and apples and onion all together cooking down. I'm gonna let it continue to cook down for probably an hour or so um, until everything is thoroughly softened 
and then we're going to blend it up and then cook it some more. All right, everything is pretty soft. The apples just mush. So I am going to set the whole pot over on the counter so I can hit it with the immersion blender, get everything nice and smooth, and then we will cook it down some more. All right, so we got it all blended out nice and smooth and I've got it back on the heat to cook down some more. Now at this point, the recipe calls to, in a separate saucepan, tie a bunch of whole spices in a cheesecloth pouch and um, simmer them in vinegar and then of course you would take the spice pouch out and add the vinegar. Um, but I've never been a really big fan of doing that. I would rather just add ground spices straight to it. So that's what I'm going to do. The only thing I don't have that the recipe calls for is star anise, so I'm just going to omit that. But I have everything else that it calls for in a ground form. With the exception of celery seed, I have celery seed, but it's not ground. But they are small enough that I'm just going to add them whole, and I, I don't think it will be noticeable at all. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of my spices and vinegar so it can continue to cook down. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Yeah. Got my little helper helping me mix up the spices here before we add them. So we ended up doing um, a tablespoon of celery seed, a half a tablespoon each of cinnamon, ground cinnamon and ground cloves, and then about a teaspoon each of ground cardamom, ground coriander and ground allspice. So we're gonna add that. All right, we got the spices added in. In addition to those, we are also adding a quarter cup of salt. Two cups of brown sugar. And a cup and a half of apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to mix that all together really well, and we're going to let it continue to cook down for a while, I think. I'll have to look at it again. It uh, says to let it cook down until it's reduced by, I think, a third. And then we are also going to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar, let it cook down a little bit more, and then it will be done. Okay, it has reduced by about a third, and it now says to add a cup of balsamic vinegar. Um, I'm going to add this whole little bottle. It says it's eight and a half ounces, so I'm going to go ahead and pour all that in. And, uh, that's going to take a minute, but once it's all in there, I will continue to stir it up and then continue to let it cook down until it is at the consistency we want. All right, it has thickened down nicely. Um, it's starting to spatter really badly. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get my canner heating up and then I'm going to put this in jars so we can process it. All right, I just pulled them out of the canner. Um, they processed for 30 minutes in the water bath. I ended up with four full pints and a little bit left in this jar that will go in the fridge for us to use in the near, in the near future. Um, it made less than I expected by the time it uh, cooked down to the consistency. I wanted the recipe, I think said it maybe six or seven pints. Um, so, just with that in mind in the future, if I were going to make another batch, I would probably do a double just to make it worth canning. Um, but I think it turned out pretty well. I did actually take a little bit of it and put on some chicken for dinner and I really liked how it turned out. So I am pretty happy with it. Again, you know, just, it would have been nice to get a little bit of a bigger batch, but that that's just how it goes sometimes. So anyway, I am going to link the recipe in the description and I will also link um, Jessica's video where she made it because I think she made a few changes to, um, to adapt for her use. So if you want to check that out and see what she did. Um, anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you try it. 
and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.